Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a very unexpected video today, and it is a small grocery Dollar Tree haul. It was not a planned trip, it was something completely spur of the moment, and I enjoyed myself so much being in Dollar Tree. It has been so many months since I was in a Dollar Tree, actually even got to walk around a Dollar Tree. Um, it was a lot of fun and I got a variety of items and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so first I want to get into this little bit of a grocery haul. Um, some things that were techie she already put away. Um, I got, you know, like bread, things like that. Some staples that we needed here. And I also got what is called a pick five. If you're not familiar, like with anything in the supermarket, that's a pick five. It's usually like five for 20 or five for 19.99. This is five for 19.95. And what it is, is you can get five different or five all the same packs of meat for 19.95, as long as it has that particular sticker on. Um, there was a supermarket in Hazelton that did that too, Boyers. And I used to look through them at times, and if there was anything good, I would get a pick five. But there was also times where it seemed like they had cheapened the portions and everything, and sometimes it just wasn't worth it. But Redner's, um, if any of my subs down this way, um, you to know about Redner's, um, they usually do good. I remember coming down here a couple of times with Techie when I was living back in Hazleton and actually getting a pick five and a four four twenty I believe. So this is chicken sausage. Now I had chicken sausage before. It had some kind of seasoning in it, um pineapple and something else. That was really, really good. And I really enjoyed chicken sausage after I ate it. And uh, Ronnie liked it too. So definitely I wanted to get us some uh, again for another time. I also got two packs of pork chops and these are pretty good sized pork chops so I got two packs of them and I got two packs of ground chicken because I want to make chicken burgers and if you haven't had them they're good they are good they're good they're as good as turkey burgers it's all about the seasoning and what you actually you know, put in them. You can chop up like some red and green peppers in that. You can make some really delicious chicken and turkey burgers. When things like that are made right and flavorful, they're amazing. They're, they're, they're really, really good. Um, I did grab, and it was kind of funny because I haven't had something like this in a while. This is a chocolate Boston cream cake. I know how to make a Boston cream cake. I have not made a Boston cream cake in quite a while, but I couldn't resist it. Um, I don't know. I really have been eating a lot better lately. I haven't eaten junk, so I thought it might be a nice little treat for us um, to actually have a piece of Boston cream cake. So let me get this stuff all put away in the fridge and then we will get into Dollar Tree. Alrighty guys, so I had a few other items that I did get in Redner's. Um, they actually had these single rolls like this, uh, singles, uh, paper towels, three for $2. Now we did get some in Dollar Tree. I turned around and actually grabbed these also to have some extra because we don't get to go to the store very often. Better to have things and stock up on them so you have them for a little bit. So I did in fact get them. And I also grabbed Tasty Cake Snacks. Now, Techie likes her 
butterscotch crimpets. My son Bobby loves his butterscotch crimpets. And she also likes the buttercream. I like the other buttercream that has the chocolate with the lighter uh, stripe going down, the chocolate one. And these two are minor honors, the chocolate candy cakes and the peanut butter. I said, we've been doing pretty good, like, eating-wise. Um, we've gotten a lot of fruit, fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, Techie's parents, they went to a auction and they had all kind of fresh fruit and vegetables down there um, about a week ago. I made a really good fruit salad, huge, with watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, um, peaches, and some, uh, what else did I throw in? Oh, um, there was something else I threw in, um, some grapes. And it was really, really good. So we've been eating pretty good, healthier. And not anything complicated. We haven't been doing a lot of cooking, per se. Um, it's been simpler, easier things. But we have been eating and haven't been, you know, indulging in all kind of junk or anything. Um, which is a good thing, too. I started gaining a few pounds. And um, I want to try to get back into some uh, more healthier eating. You know, definitely when we move, yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, that's going to be my priority with that. So, in Dollar Tree, I was in a frozen area, and like I said, haven't been in Dollar Tree in months. And it stinks, because that was one of my favorite stores. So, while I was there, I grabbed a couple of things that I really, really like, just because they're easy, and they're actually really, really good. These are Banquet Brown and Sir Breakfast. This is French Toast Breakfast. And I have the waffle breakfast, which comes with sausage. Um, I have two of them. And I believe there was one more I grabbed. Oh, a French toast. Okay. So, like, these are really good because they do come with sausage links. They all have sausage links right there. And um, they're banquet. And I don't know. I know they're more than a dollar in the supermarket. I think they're actually close to $2 in some stores. So for a dollar, I mean, that's that's pretty good. Now, I did get these. These are called Philly Swirl. These are fudge swirl sticks. Uh, fudge and salted caramel. These are pork rolls and ice pops. Um, they look really good. The salted caramel and the fudge really got my attention, and I was like, mm-hmm. I definitely want to check them out. When we were in Redner's, I also grabbed some. I'm back to Redner's again. When we were in Redner's, I also grabbed some Black Label Microwave Bacon. Ever since I made the meatloaf with the bacon wrapped and the mozzarella cheese inside, all that fat that actually just drove me insane when I made it up on Harrison Street, I refuse to buy that kind of bacon anymore. I have been using the microwave bacon. Um, it's just so much more convenient for me. And I don't have to deal with all that excess fat. That just turned my stomach and I'm done wasting money on on all of that kind of nonsense. So, no, 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 no. So, I also grabbed, while I was in Dollar Tree, two of these Golden Crust Jamaican Style Spicy Beef Patty. If you have never had a Jamaican beef patty, a spicy beef patty. Let me tell you something. When they're made right, these are delicious. I used to get these a couple of years ago from a little Spanish store. They were made fresh. And, oh my God, I love them. I used to get like five, six of them and just stick them in my freezer. The lady was always making them and I was always buying them. They're just really, really good. And Closest to the ones that I used to buy were these ones from Dollar Tree. And I never actually looked to see where these are made. Um, I mean, they're made here in the U.S., but they're, they're really good. And I would recommend giving them a try because they're just that darn good. So I also grabbed some of these. Now these are good for uh, snacks if you're going to go for a hike, 
So this is called P3 Portable Protein Pack. Turkey, cheddar, and peanuts. And uh, you get your protein in that. And then there is the ham. I have a, another one of the ham. I have to see where it is, but I have a, another one of the ham. So this is the ham, Colby Jack, and cashews. Um, these are really good as well. I believe I had these before. They look really familiar. Um, I grabbed a box of tissues because sometimes my allergies still bother me. And I'm going to keep a little box of tissues here. Good to have. Definitely good to have. Now these are something that I also like to get. Um, these are so darn good. Hershey milkshake. This is creamy chocolate and this is cookies and cream. I actually had two of each. I drank the one chocolate on the ride today. But I have two of these. These are really, really good, guys. Um, very, very tasty. And I have to go put them actually in the refrigerator. And I'm going to put these other items into the refrigerator downstairs. So all that stuff was put away. And I wanted to show you a couple of cute little, uh, a couple of cute little things I picked up in Dollar Tree for Techie. Something for her to remember me by when we move. And because of her little girls, all her doxies, um, I got her this cute little dish towel set from Dollar Tree. Stay positive with the little paw prints. It comes with the oven mitt. And it also has, um, there is a pot holder, I believe. Yes, pot holder set that goes with it. It says stay positive. It's all matching. And I got her these other little pot holders. It says love is a four-legged word. And there's two of them. They are really, really cute. Um, she's seen them and was all excited when she's seen them. And uh, I thought, oh, what the heck? It's only a dollar, you know? Um, and like I said, you know, she can use them down the road. And when we're moved out and everything, um, she has something that she can remember us by, you know? And uh, I told her I wouldn't forget about her. And I most certainly wouldn't forget about the girls. Halloween around the corner, you know, um, I would probably down the road order maybe some cute little doggy shirts for them for Halloween. Um, I just have to, you know, ask her like what size for which one and this and that, but that would be really, really cute. Um, get them little Halloween shirts, doggy shirts. I also grabbed for myself a cute little simple player. Yeah, simple pair. I can't talk right now. I eat ice cream quickly and it's like I froze my tongue or something. I don't know. A simple little pair of slippers. And the reason I got these is because I have a gray pair that are open-toed and they get really dirty quick. So I wash them like once a week. I have another little pair of slippers and they are little unicorns. They have the little bumps on the bottom for like gripping. But they're like fabric and if one of the girls during the night really soaks a puppy pad or something i wind up with a very soggy slipper so i just wanted a spare pair um to have in case them two are washed and drying just something you know that i uh that i can have around you know uh i also grabbed some orm and hammer ultra replenishing body wash with soothing baking soda and this is clear water. Um, anytime, like in the past, I would see Arm & Hammer products like that, I would grab them. Has a really nice scent. Almost smells like the Arm & Hammer detergent. Um, I would grab it. I was looking for the one that I really, really like. Um, it's in like a, sort of like a, I want to say, rose-ish, orange-ish colored bottle, um, but they didn't have it. Now, this particular Dollar Tree I went to didn't have it, 
might be able to get it in Hazleton. I don't know. Uh, I was not in Hazleton. I was strictly down here. So um, that I do not know. Now, this is something I, I wanted to try. I've seen other YouTubers get this. I really wanted to try it. It's called Gold Ore Gel Face Mask. And I believe it has an applicator of some type in it. And I want to see. It's sealed up, which is good. Um... Wow, they really had the box sealed, which is a good thing. Oh gosh, so there it is. It's this gold ore. Well, it's a little lopsided. I guess that happened in shipping or something. And it has this little applicator, I guess, to apply it on your skin. It says that you... Uh, I don't know if this peels off or not. Um, and I don't have my glasses on and the writing is really, really tiny. But, um, yeah, this is a gold door mask. That's something different. I've never had that. And so I definitely want to see how that is. What else do I have? I have Global Beauty Care, Lift and Firm Eye Cream, Collagen, and Peptides. And again, I've seen other YouTubers purchase this in hauls. Um, so I really want to see how this is. decent size too for a dollar I mean what the heck you can't complain guys and that is to firm and lift tighten and depuff the area under your eyes I'm quite fortunate I don't really get puffiness too often thank goodness that is really annoying. Um, if you see my face or anything like that being puffy, it's usually my sinuses. Thank gosh. I did get some Swan Spring Mint mouthwash. And I really, really was meaning to get mouthwash. Um, like simply because sometimes I do like to just rinse my mouth out during the day, especially if I'm busy. Um, I also notice sometimes too, if you have to wear a mask somewhere, I don't know if this happens to other people, but after a while I get like a funky taste in my mouth and mouthwash, um, helps with that to get rid of that funky, funky taste in your mouth. I grabbed some Colgate 2 in 1 toothpaste and mouthwash. This is Icy Blast Whitening. I... Got, see. I got some LA Color Super Strength Nail Builder, and this is supposed to protect your nails from chipping. Um, it is a nail hardener, and this is super dry, quick dry, uh, dries polish to a high gloss shine. That's supposed to help your polish dry quickly. So I got them because I found some of my nail polish. And uh, I have been wearing nail polish a couple of times now. I just didn't have um, enough base coat in that. I also grabbed some more socks. And the reason I grabbed another uh, two pairs of socks is because the Sock Monster never lets up. And the Sock Monster, well... He always likes to take just one, and they happen to be my favorite socks, too. Um, Sock Monster doesn't take ugly socks. 
ones that you don't wear very often or maybe you know like just don't like the design or something no the sock monster always targets your favorite socks and you always wind up with one i hate that darn sock monster no matter where you live that sock monster he follows you he's around and yes that's already on the background guys um let me see here I also have been looking for the cat's nail clippers. Now, I had them with me, believe it or not, out at Red Roof. So they should be in with, like, some of my makeup or something, and I'm actually going to have to look. But in Dollar Tree, I found the last pair that they had was the same ones like I have before. Um, same design, but these are pink. The other ones that I have are blue. So, you know what's going to happen tonight. Oreo Feisty, especially if she doesn't like it, are going to be getting their nails clipped. Yeah, um, they're long overdue for it. So, that's on the agenda for tonight. I got some more claw clips. Reason being, I use them when I color my hair. Um, because I have the reddish brown underneath here. And then I have the blonde on top. Now, you will notice, my hair has grown out quite a bit. It is really, really hard for me to make an appointment at Holiday Hair Fashions when I don't know if I'm going to have a ride on a given day. So, I may, before I color my hair last time, um, before leaving state, I may cut my own hair following a YouTube video. Years ago, I did take some... Um, beauty school classes, believe it or not, when I was much younger. Going to be very tricky because I don't have the steady hands that I used to. Um, I browsed through a few videos that are fairly simple and seem like they're pretty easy. Um, trying to think, who did I watch that actually cut her own hair and did a good job with it? Cheap chick. Um, she cut her own hair and looked really, really cute. And I basically just want to trim off all my dead. And I want to get my layers back so I could actually, like, start using my flat iron again. Right now, my hair is a disaster. It always looks like a disaster. I just can't do anything with it anymore. I really need a good trim. And I think I'm just going to wind up having to do it myself. So I may actually be doing a video in a few days. Uh, me following YouTube videos, trying to cut my hair. That should be interesting. But you know what they say, necessity is the mother of invention. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I have a general idea of what to do. I used to actually cut my kids' hair when they were younger. Um, I gave my kids tails and everything. I wasn't able to finish the actual school I was going to many years ago. Um, it actually shut down. It was closed by the Department of Education for student loan fraud um and i didn't go on to another school they wouldn't accept my credits so that is why yours surely is not a hairdresser or doing nails or anything of the sort so and that's also something you learned that i never told anybody before well with the exception of my family and that but you know you guys know too i did actually attend um beauty school briefly back when i was in my early 20s. Let's see, what else do I have to wrap this um, Dollar Tree haul up? I grabbed two movies. This is called Dark Light. Fear the Light. Um, seems interesting. It's about some kind of creepy creature. Spooky, spooky. And this is called The Whale. Uh, the True Story of Luna. Friendship is bigger than we know. I love animal movies, especially when they have, like, heartwarming stories to them. Um, it's a wonderful change. Anybody remember Winter, the dolphin? I have a copy of that. I just love something positive, you know? I mean, I do like a good scary movie, a scary show, but it's also nice to see positive things, too. Um, so those are two movies that I grabbed as well. And I also grabbed a stylus pen. Works with all touchscreen devices. 
and the reason being it works with smartphones, tablets, and any other touch screens. Um, because sometimes my phone gives me issues when I am playing a game on it. I don't know why there's no scratches or anything on my Motorola, but it does give me issues. And I thought, well, maybe a stylus would help. It could be my fingers. Um, sometimes I like do get a little bit callous, especially if it's something I'm doing that is repetitive. I get a little bit of harder skin and maybe my screen just doesn't like, I don't know, recognize numbers when I punch them in or something. I don't know. So I got a stylus to help me out with that. And I also treated myself to this really classy pen. It has a fake pearl on it, but boy, is that really pretty. Um, definitely pretty cute. I know they had them with like the big fake crystals on. I've seen them around too. But I like that. That's that's different. So that is everything from Dollar Tree. And I did want to show you guys something I picked up at Walmart. I actually got it a little while ago. Um, I picked up this really cute tie-dye shirt. And so Tucky and I actually have the same shirt now. Um, it's nice for like the fall. It's thin, but it's... Um, you know, longer sleeve. And I was able to grab, now they don't match, but they are pretty cool. They're cute. Um, these were really cute tie-dye pants. There's a little bit of the black and white in that shirt. And even though these don't necessarily go 100%, I really like them. Um, the pants were only $7.88. I thought these were like super, super cute. And the shirt, I believe, was more. The shirt was... 10.98. Just something I seen that I thought was cute. Um, oh, one more thing I grabbed from Dollar Tree. I really like these magazines that Dollar Tree carries. Um, they have a lot of useful information with them, like the the cookie magazines, and they have a bunch of different ones. So I grabbed this. Clean it naturally. Uh, recipes for kitchen and bath cleansers, room fresheners, clothing care, floor maintenance, stain removal cheat sheets for upholstery, laundry, and walls. That's good. Healthy meals and minutes uh, from the editors of Relish. This is junk overs. Easy ways to upcycle anything uh, for indoor and outdoor decorating. Um, some really cool stuff, and I'm into DIYing when I get in a new place so i'll be definitely maybe doing a few projects for the fall um from there you know some cute things that i could do for indoor and outdoor decorating so we'll see make and take uh 54 affordable dishes for brunches picnics barbecues and more so i grabbed them as well i will definitely put them to use in uh, a different home as well Alrighty guys, well that is everything from my haul today. If you like this video guys, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell for all so you know every time I do upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you on my next one.